Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing about the signaling pathway for Shimu projections in yeasts. The Shimu projection signaling pathway is initiated by the pheromones released by the other haploid yeast cell in its vicinity. Now let's jump towards the signaling pathway and see how it alters the cell membrane structure in yeasts and produces these Shimu projections. In the signaling pathway, the yeast cell has got G protein coupled receptor. And on G protein, the GDP is bound when it's in an inactive state. And it's when the pheromone is secreted by the other nearby yeast cell and binds with the receptor of G protein. As you can see in the diagram, the ligand binding to the GPCR causes conformational changes in the G protein coupled receptor, which allows it to act as a Gauni nucleotide exchange factor, GEF. And by the action of GEF, the GDP is exchanged for GTP on G protein and with the association of GTP towards the G protein, the G protein becomes activated. The activation of G protein recruits a STE5 protein in the yeast cell, which is actually a scaffold protein. And after this, the phosphorylation cascade kicks in. Where we see the first protein to be phosphorylated is the FUS3 protein. After that, the phosphorylated FUS3 protein moves towards the plasma membrane and here at the plasma membrane site the FUS3 protein phosphorylates the formin protein thus activating the formin protein. As we know the formin proteins are involved in the polymerization of microfilaments and associates with the fast growing end of microfilaments. So now what this formin will do is that it will act on microfilaments where it drives the polymerization of microfilaments and finally the yeast cell grows a long microfilament. And with the growth of a microfilament, the cell forms the Shimu projections like this. This is how the signaling pathway, the cascade of signals, activate a formin protein. And this formin protein acts on microfilaments and adds actin subunits to the growing microfilament chain. And we ultimately get the Shimu projections in the yeast cell. And one of the funny questions arises here is that why it's called Shimu? It's because it resembles 1950 cartoon character by that name, Shimu. The projection, the structure of the projection in yeast cell resembles that Shimu cartoon character. That's why they are called Shimu projections. So this is all about the Shimu projection formation by the signaling cascade. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.